Well, look, one thing I wanted to bring up, um, you know, obviously he's got the fight with, with Stipe. That is inevitable. And uh, that is one he won't be look, overlooking. I, I can imagine in the way he's talked about it, he's very, um, he's not overlooking that fight one single iota. But he has talked about on Twitter, you know, the, the thoughts of Alex Pereira and being potentially being a more interesting and exciting fight instead of Tom Aspinall. And in all honesty, I, as soon as he brought up Alex Pereira, it got me excited because I, I I am a big fan of Alex and what he does and 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 then the excitement he's brought to to mixed martial arts, um, just being how lethal of a striker he is and his his whole personality and how it's developed and and all those sorts of things. And I just wanted to know your opinion. I, obviously, from a meritocracy standpoint, Tom, everyone is claiming that Tom is next if if John sticks around. In your opinion, though, he gets through Stipe. What is the more intriguing fight, John Jones and, and Aspinall or, or, or Alex Pereira? I, I think there's a lot of intriguing options out there. And, and we got to see how Tom Aspinall's next fight goes. Mm. You know, Curtis Blades is also dynamic. He could be right in that mix. Um, Alex has a big fight this weekend. Mm. Um, I, I could see his, his buzz and his aura and his legend continue to grow. And that may become a very big fight when the time comes. Um, and of course, Aspinall, um, who, who has proven to be a great contender and a great interim champion so far. Um, I, I think John being John, being one of the greats of the sport, mm. there's always going to be intriguing matchups. Everybody's going to want to see him against different styles, different dynamics, different storylines, different uh, rivalries. So, you know, I, from, from from my position right now, we're super focused on Stipe because that is the the task in front of us. And, you know, let's see how this shakes out. If he has a performance like he did against Cyril Gaon, man, I can see us turning around real quick and getting right back to work. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how the chips fall in kind of some of the other areas. Uh, one of my good friends the other night, we were, we were talking and he said, you know, when you're at the top, sometimes you have to be patient and just see how the chips fall. Mm -hmm. And that really helps to clarify the the path for somebody to try to get to us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll see how things shake out.